The Peace Corps volunteers gathered at the outskirts of the small African village, first setting up their shortwave radio and then staring up at the crescent moon. It was July 20th, 1969. The villagers were used to unusual activities on the part of their American guests, but this was something new. After watching them from afar for some time, they finally wandered out to the encampment. Is everything all right, they asked. Everything is fine, smiled one of the Americans. Amazing, in fact. The lead villager scanned the assembled group, their small table with the battery-powered radio, water canteens, and various dried snacks. Why do you listen to the radio, he asked, and stare at the moon? American astronauts have landed there, he answered, exultant, and they will soon be walking on the surface. The man stared back at him, his expression doubtful. How long does it take to get to the moon, he asked finally. Three days, one of the other volunteers proclaimed. They just landed. We've been listening to their radio transmissions. The villager furrowed his brow. Three days? No, no, he said with grave certainty. It takes three days to get to Montubo, not to Moon. The other villagers agreed, shaking their heads in disbelief. The two groups stared back at one another. That's right, said one of the Americans finally. You are correct. It does. A lone fire flickered in the distance. Silver light painted the grasslands, seeming to go on forever, until finally melting into a vast field of stars. The two groups stood side by side, listening to the small crackling radio, first staring at one another, and then up at a moon that now suddenly seemed brand new. Thanks to Doug Saxon for recounting his experiences of that day. <laughs>